A garden hose has an inside diameter of 16 millimeters. The hose can fill a 10 liter bucket in 20 seconds. A. What is the speed of the water out of the end of the hose? What diameter nozzle would cause the water to exit with a speed four times greater than the speed inside the hose? Obviously, this numerical problem is based on the volume flow rate and the equation of continuity. What is the equation of continuity? A1, AV is equal to constant, which indicates that V velocity of the fluid, velocity of the fluid is inversely proportional to the area of cross section of the uh, tube. A, A is the area of cross section. Area of cross section of tube in which the fluid is flowing. Okay. Now, how AV is equal to constant? Let us see. Let us consider a rigid tube which is wider at one end and narrow at the other end. A fluid is uh, a volume V of the fluid, I, right here volume V of the fluid is flowing through the uh, tube and uh, as I told you, no, the tube is rigid, there are no leaks, therefore see whatever may be the amount of volume of the fluid entering into the tube, same volume of the uh, fluid coming out of the tube. Okay, For a given interval of time, delta T, the, uh, the fluid molecules uh, traveling uh, with the velocity of V1 uh, make a displacement or travel a length delta x in, in the wider uh, part of the tube. Okay, so velocity is equal to, we know velocity is equal to di displacement over time. Here the displacement is delta x and then time interval is delta t. And what I am saying is the fluid molecules has have the uh, velocity v1 at the wider part. Therefore, velocity of the fluid particles v1 is equal to v1 is equal to delta x1 over delta t. This implies delta x1 is equal to v1 delta t. And then area of cross section of the uh, wider part is a1. Area of cross section of wider part. Wider part of the tube. is A1. And then obviously the narrow part is A2. Area of cross section of wide, uh, narrower part of the group or narrow part of the group is equal to A2. We know volume is equal to area times length. Okay, here the fluid particles travel a length delta x1 at the wider part and delta x2 in the narrower part during the time interval delta t. Therefore, volume delta v1 is equal to a1 delta x1 and volume delta v2 is equal to A2 delta x2. Okay, here it is. Now, we know the fluid is incompressible and there are no leaks, the, no leaks in the tube. That means the tube is rigid. And I told you whatever the volume of the fluid entering into the tube, the same volume of the 
a fluid coming out of that tube. Therefore, delta V1 is equal to delta V2. Delta V1 is equal to delta V2. Therefore, I have to substitute the values. Here, if this is a x1. Similarly, x2 is equal to delta x2 is equal to delta x2 is equal to v2 delta t. Okay. So, there, therefore, delta v1 is equal to delta v2. And then uh, <coughs> v1 is equal to, I write here, v1 is equal to a1 delta instead of delta x1, I write v1 delta t. And then v2 is equal to a2 v2 delta t. Now, I equate these two. a1 v1 delta t is equal to a2 v2 delta t. And uh, therefore, a1 v1 is, so delta t is the same time interval. I am taking the same time interval. Now, in the same time interval, the fluid particles travel a length of delta x1 in the wider uh, part of the tube and then they travel delta x2, this a length of delta x2 in the narrower part of the tube. Therefore, delta t goes off. The a1 v1 is equal to a2 v2. Uh, in general, a v is equal to a constant called a q. This is called the uh, flow rate. Okay. Therefore, I can write like this, volume flow rate, volume flow rate, uh, Q is equal to delta V over delta T. And it is measured in uh, either cubic meters per second or cubic centimeters per second or more uh, generally liter per minute or gallon per minute, liter per minute or gallon per minute. Okay. Therefore, from this equation, we can see that the velocity increases as the area of cross-section of the tube decreases. They are inversely related. Velocity and the area of cross-section are inversely related. And we know A is equal to pi r square. Therefore, as the radius increases, velocity decreases. And then as the radius decreases, velocity increases. So keeping this in mind, we will try to solve the numerical. OK. Here, the diameter of the tube is given to us. So the diameter is equal to 16 millimeters. OK. And then we know area A is equal to pi r square. A is equal to pi into r means 16 over 2. And then this is in millimeters. We have to convert it into meters. Therefore, 16 into 10 to the power of negative 3 meters. Negative 3 whole square. This gives a value of 2 uh, times 10 to the power of negative 4 cubic meters. Okay. Next, uh, this is A. And then uh, he is asking us to find out the speed of the water. To find the speed of the water, we they, he gave the volume flow rate. So, volume flow rate Q is equal to 10 by 20. That is equal to uh, 0 0.5 liters per second. That is equal to 5.0 times 10 to the power of negative 4 cubic meters. Here you should know 1 liter is equal to conversion. 1 liter is equal to 10 to the power of negative 3 cubic meters. Okay. Now using this one, you we know Q is equal to AV. Yeah. Q is equal to AV. Therefore, we will equate this one. So, 5 times 10 to the power of 
negative 4 is equal to a we know now 2 2 2 by uh, 10 to the 2 times 10 to the neg 10, 2 times 10 to the power of negative 4 so therefore v is equal to this divided by 2 times 10 to the power of negative 4 gives 2.5 meters per second and this velocity is when the diameter is this much 60 millimeters now he is asking us to find out what is the diameter what should be the diameter of the nozzle to uh, increase the speed four times so for that what we do is that is the b bit so for the b bit <coughs> v is equal to 4v that is what he is giving he has given we have to find out a diameter okay so let us write the uh, equation okay so a1 v1 is equal to a2 v2 a1 v1 is equal to a2 v2 a1 is equal to here i write the actual equation so uh, pi times 16 by 2 times 10 to the power of negative 3 whole square uh, times v is equal to pi times d, d diameter diameter by 2 times 10 to the power of negative 3 whole square times uh, velocity is 4v okay that is what he gave you now uh, velocity should be 4v v2 is equal to 4 4v or 4v1 suppose if i take v1 then uh, it should be uh, 4 times v1 v2 should be yeah like that if the, the, this may be more appealing to us okay now in this pi goes off and then v1 goes off and then uh, then 2 and then 10 to the power of negative 3 goes off i am left with 16 square is equal to d square and then 4 okay I will take 4 inside, therefore 16 square is equal to 2d square. Two d square. Therefore d is equal to 16 by 2. That is equal to 8 millimeters. So to increase the velocity 4 times, the diameter should be half the actual diameter is 16 millimeters we got 8 millimeters so uh, the answer is 8 millimeters this is the answer for this question b bit okay for 4 b the diameter should be half so it is our common experience that suppose if we take the uh, uh, water pipe uh, for uh, putting the water in the garden suppose if the if we put the uh, hose with a uh, small nozzle then the water squids farther okay otherwise it will be like this the, it is our common experience the moment we fix the hose with a uh, small nozzle the speed increases okay so the dia the um, uh, lesser the diameter uh, higher the speed of the uh, fluid from the pipe okay this is one thing and i give one more general example for the for this one uh, we know uh, toothpaste is there no we will brush the uh, teeth with the toothpaste suppose if we reduce the volume of the Toothpaste, uh, toothpaste to chew, then equal volume of the uh, toothpaste comes out. Okay. Suppose if we have the, this is the toothpaste to chew, okay, having the nozzle like this. And then if we press here, generally we press here, okay, somewhere. The pressing means pressure, we are applying the pressure. We know pressure and volume are inversely proportional. Okay. So higher the pressure, 
प्लस अर्थ वॉल्यूम आर लोअर द प्रेशर हायर द वॉल्यूम सो सपोज इफ वी वॉन्ट टू गेट द गेट मोर दिस वन वॉट वी कॉल टूथ पेस्ट वी हाव टू रेड्यूस द प्रेशर ओके so to reduce the pressure if we reduce the pressure the volume increases as the vol how much volume increases uh, how much volume of the tooth uh, paste tube increases that much volume of the tooth paste comes out okay so just equal equal amount of paste comes out uh, how much volume you squeeze how much um, volume you uh, reduce here reduce the volume of the reduce the volume of the tube toothpaste tube same volume of paste comes out okay so this is a one uh, day to day example for this one obviously this problem is based on the equation of continuity and volume flow rate and uh, how they are related i derived here and then hope you all of you understood this one and uh, try to practice few more problems and you will get the expertise in this okay thank you bye bye